Next level. Oh, that's fantastic. Lashing through to take him down third and 13. Uh, you got to be happy here with these backups and what they're doing here against not just Richardson, but the offensive line. See the linebacker walked up here. I think it created a little hesitation with communication. And then it frees up Davis to be able to shoot that gap and get into the backfield. Now you put now you put Anthony Richardson down third and long. Colts running their 20th play of the night. Richardson hangs in the pocket and then fires, and that is incomplete. Tried to get it to Mitchell, and it's fourth down. So another quick out. Saw Mitchell at the end of that route. I think he felt pretty tight coverage. By the way, rookie Josh Newton out of TCU's had a great camp. He was there against Mitchell and just kind of stopped on the route. I think he was trying to maybe go back the other way. So another route or Richardson and his receiver not quite on the same page. Rigoberto Sanchez, one of the best in the league, didn't have a touchback last year, which is amazing for a punter. Fielded at the 31 by Charlie Jones. And out of bounds he goes. Well, we uh, on the pregame show, I know that Carissa and Witt were talking about Jamar Chase, one of the tops in the league. Going into his fourth season, he has two more years left. It, this is what you call a hold in or a hold out so you don't come to camp. He's been coming to camp, but he hasn't been practicing. How will this one? Get resolved before the start of this. They've got, they've got 17 days to do it. And, and for people not familiar with the hold in, the hold out, I mean, hey, hey, it's, it's pretty 41, well 41 talked about. You know, you hold in, you don't get the fine. It's a little bit strange to be dealing with the contract negotiation and the players there practice <laughs> himself. Not only in that company, I'm sure he thinks he's as good, if not better. Right. So, rolling, throwing, caught, but can't escape a tackle that time is Charlie Jones. Taken down by Charles, it'll be second down. And I think the difference is with two years left on his deal, I think the Bengals are thinking, hey, we want you. We're going to give you what you need, but let, let's play 2024, and then let's kind of get to this point next year, and we're going to give you the contract that you want. And I think Jamar Chase is saying, hey, I, I want to do it right now. You know, you saw Waddle. You've seen his few, uh, Dante Smith. Seems to be very often. Second and seven. Pass is caught out here in the flat by Cam Grandy. And, you know, the other risk you run, let's face it, you, you run the risk of injury. Yeah. You play, you say, okay, I'm going to have a great year, then we'll talk about it next year, but you run the risk of getting hurt. You sure do. And he knows that Joe Burrow and Zach Taylor need him in this lineup. You have T. Higgins, uh, you, you got Irwin, you got Charlie Jones, you you got the young Jermaine Burton, you got Gasicki who's come over, Tanner Hudson, but everyone knows you need number one in this lineup for this team to do what they want to do. Third and two, deep downfield into coverage and the pass is incomplete. Shedrick Jackson, the intended receiver, Darrell Baker Jr. Breaking it up fourth and two. You know, talking to Chris Ballard, the GM for the Colts on the field, and we were talking about you know areas that they still want to see kind of shored up. I or brought it up earlier. The starting corners with Jones and Brents, but they're trying to find that third and fourth corner. Dallas Flowers is one that obviously they're looking at. He played a lot last year before an Achilles injury, and Baker's another one. So good play there, stride for stride with the receiver. But goes out of bounds at around the 20. When we come back, put the headset on Joe Burrow. Talk to him on Thursday Night Football. As you try to recover from that surgery in the yeah. offseason. Yeah, I feel great. Uh, this is the biggest, fastest, and strongest I've been since I've been in the league. And so it's been nice to not really have any setbacks, able to maintain that strength that I built in the offseason through, through training camp and uh, a week to get our body. I see a monitor down there, Joe, but... Yeah, I'm watching. Yeah, I'm give, watching. Give down us a here. breakdown here. What you what you see? It's nice to see Blazek making a play, get that ball out. Yeah, great play by Blaze. We've had a lot of D linemen down throughout training camp, so it's nice to see some guys go out and make some plays. And, and before you finish that thought, I, I just want to say I, it's a preseason game. You, you got a lot of the threes out there. Oh. Culture playing their ones. How oh, much pride hey, 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 is on the line? To tell the fans at home. That look at this. Yeah, it's a preseason game. How about these guys playing against the starters? What do you, you think is going through their mind? Yeah, I mean, these guys are 
going out and fighting for their life trying to make the team right now so we're here to support them and try to bring energy any way we can we know that they're going against the starters so it's a little uphill battle but those guys are going and and trying to make the team and the expectation is that they're going to go out and play well so it's exciting to go out and watch them and finally joe you know brian callahan goes to tennessee as the head coach pitcher was here as your quarterbacks coach I, I would assume that's been relatively seamless you tell me yeah it's been great pitch has brought a lot of great energy and he's really taken ownership of that role uh, we've had some new hires that we brought in too that have you know it's nice to get a new perspective and some new new ideas in the building whenever that happens justin riscotti coming from minnesota he's been great as well and so all of our stuff is marrying up really well everything looks looks similar and so that's gonna that's a recipe for success we, we can't let you go though who's your stylist yeah how long, <laughs> I, I know who the stylist is and, and how long are you gonna keep keep the uh, you're gonna keep this trend going there. yeah i mean i'm just gonna let it grow out at this point it'll be a little frosted tips here in a couple of weeks back to what my normal hair looks like but then just a little blonde i think it'll look good all right i think you should let it grow as long as ellie de la cruz what do you think <laughs> <laughs> that might take me a couple of years <laughs> hey thanks man appreciate it yeah, thanks, have guys. a great year great bro. success sure. okay to the stars Ooh, perfect punt yeah, yeah, ellie Seven and joe burrow in one town there you go major big time appreciate it with joe burrow at 946 of the half he gets at Kansas City Green Bay goes to Detroit Rams 49ers great games a lot of good I, I games. Think we were all fired up we saw that uh, 14 yards watch Nate Gilliam get this block over here you also get a nice block by the center Lee again this is third string offensive lineman some of the second stringers there's great block there by 66 that just opened up also the, the rookie Eric all who's really impressed the coaches in camp they feel he can be an inline tight end. He also picks up a nice block there. All is a guy to keep an eye on, not just tonight, but throughout the regular season. Probably has made as big a name for himself in this camp as anybody of the, of the younger players. Local guy. Uh, went to high school here at Cincinnati Fairfield. Went up to Michigan, played tight end, and then transferred to Iowa. And uh, like I said, they're fired up to see what he can do in that tight end room with Gusecki, Drew Sample, and and Tanner Hudson. Yeah. I was turned out a few good tight ends sure with George yeah. Kittle University. No doubt. Evan Hall on the Indianapolis sideline. The Colts will open up their season at home against the Texans. Remember last year they had a win or go home game. Came it came all the way right down to the end. Drop pass would have sent in all likelihood Colts to the playoffs yep. and said the Texans got to the playoffs hey, post, Shane post, Steichen post, 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 wound up with a 9 and 8 record Bingo. in his Monday. Indianapolis debut first and 10 Deion Williams tackled by Rodney Thomas there's there is another great block here by all watch the tight end they, again they can move him they can put him up on the line they can move him boom right in position there Good job with his leverage, keeping these are these are a lot of defenders that are going to be playing quite a bit for the Colts and his Bengals offensive line. And then gaining some confidence, Trevion Williams hitting that hole and getting upfield the last couple times he's had his hands on the ball. Well, a, a lot of these passes have been, we keep saying, screens. Trevion Williams had no chance at all. Woodside tries to look it off, but Ronnie Harrison just baiting him. He saw Williams sneaking out the entire time, clean hit perfectly timed up there by the safety it's another position with Indianapolis Julian Blackman one of the one of the tops in the league Nick Cross the other safety more than likely Ronnie Harrison trying to show the coaches what he can do as well he's been around Jacksonville and Cleveland seven-year career that's caught on the outside and taking it up to the 40-yard line that is Shedrick Jackson and that'll make it third down and six as Dallas Flowers makes the stop. Halfway through the second quarter, Indy went all the way down the field on the opening drive to make it 7 0, and then a pick six tied the game for the Bengals by Jordan Battle. Hey, Fifty, we go tough. We go tough. Turn. Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. Hey, easy, Ringo, Ringo, Ringo. Ringo, Ringo, Ringo. 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 Ring
In the pocket. Finds his man. Tackle is made at the 40 yard line. Cole Burgess, rookie out of SUNY Cortland, gets tackled there by Chris Lamans. Worth that. Good example there with Woodside th seeing those two linebackers mugged up into the A gaps, thinking that they're going to blitz. He try, try to get man coverage. Colts dropped, played zone, and fell right into the hands of the defense. They were right there on that crossing route. Ryan Rico, he's been busy tonight. Already his fifth punt of the game. Fielded by Gould at the 19. And works his way out to the 28-yard line. 